You're tuning in to AfterBuzz TV's The Christmas 24-7 channel. Keeping the spirit of Christmas 24-7. Give, forgive, be merry. Oh, 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 Christmas oh, is a holiday where you have to buy presents for everybody. But James, it's Christmas. Christmas is all about people coming in and trying to buy the woodwork. James. James. Okay, you're right. It's Christmas. Christmas. Okay. I'm James Live Jr., Super Organizer, and this is the Super Organizer Christmas Santa, Show Santa, on the Christmas Santa. 24-7 channel. <sighs> That's the song. It's it is the most wonderful time of the year. Time I love this time of year. It's wonderful, year. and it should run smoothly. I'm James Live Jr., Super Organizer, and this is the Super Organizer Christmas Show on the Christmas 24-7 channel. Uh, and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here talking about Christmas and organizing. This is Organizing Benefits. These are... Five benefits to a smoothly organized season, holiday season. Now, many times, you know, you want to drink during the holiday season, which is fine. But sometimes your family or like trying to get to get it all together can drive you to drink. Here's my emergency flask. That's right, kids. This holds a bottle of wine. It's wonderful. I can't fit it in my pockets anywhere, but I carry it with me just in case I get through the season. You know, just that. But here's some other things you can do because you do a season two. Make it very easy for you. Because you want to be able to enjoy the holidays. You don't have to be just you don't, Why be crazy during the holidays trying to get everything together? So you want to be joined. So the first thing this is the first thing I always say one of the be- great benefits of a smoothly run holiday season is getting organized. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I know it seems like simple, but that is the number one thing. It saves you time and energy. And when you're organized and you can delegate better, People have different roles because, you know, you have families that are like, okay, well, you need you to do this. Can you do this? Can you do that? It's easy and it can run smoother. And this getting organized actually affects the next four things I'm going to talk about. So getting organized is number one. And so when you're organized, it helps your season go smoother. Number two, good for your health. It's less stress. You'll sleep better. Don't you hate thinking when you're about to go to bed and you think of the 10 different things you didn't think about earlier? Oh, I got to remember this. Oh, I got to put that down. I got to do this. Oh, I got to do this. Let's eliminate all that. So when you're, or- when you're organized, there's less fighting. There's not, there isn't that sense of heightened sense of like, um, you know, because you're, you're stressed out trying to figure out how to get to this store and that store and get that ingredient and do this, that people won't get on your nerves as much. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're, when, you're, when you're busy being um, stressed out, then your tolerance level goes down. So when you're more relaxed, your tolerance level goes up for the most part. And so when you're, when you're less stressed, things don't bother you as much or things don't make you jump off. Um, also, you know, it can save you money. So things, that's the whole other thing too, save you money. And also, when you're in a jollier mood, it affects everybody around you. When you're, because a lot of people, when they come into your home or come into your space, they follow your lead. This is a life coaching tip, folks. I'm also a certified life coach. Um, but they follow your lead a lot of times and the energy of your of your space. I do believe in energy very heavily. So when you're in a happier, jollier mood, not not phony, but for real, like holly, happy, jollier mood, it's an, it can be infectious many times. And people will be happy and jollier too. And people are not on edge. No one's stressed out. You have a fun holiday experience. That's what I try to do wherever I go. It works sometimes. Number three. Everyone is accounted for. I wrote this down. No man, woman, child, or a pet left behind. <laughs> it's stressful trying to remember what to get because this is a very buying heavy part of the year. You're buying stuff for people and blah, blah, blah. That's a whole other discussion. But since you are buying presents, you kind of want to add stockings. You know, I had my stocking stuffer episode a while back. You're buying stuff for people. You want to make it that is the stress, you don't want that be stressed out either. So, in parents and grandparents, I'm a grandparent. You understand this, how this goes. You want to make sure you don't forget people. And when you have multiple kids in the same family, it's just one of those things. You have to buy them the same amount of presents. You can't buy one three and another one two. Because that kid will tell you, you bought that person. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's crazy talk, but it's just, it's just how it is. It's the truth. Um, so for me, this app, it, there's all kinds of apps out there that can help you out. And also pen and paper, writing stuff down. But if you don't write it down, the Notes app. What I'm going to show you is the icon. Usually it's on your phone already. Most smartphones have it on their phone already. But if you don't have it, you can go get it. It's free. The Notes app is wonderful because literally you just type everything in there 
and it's there. When you think about it, just go to Notes app, and it's like a piece of paper in your phone. So type it in there. And if you have multiple devices hooked up, like my my phone, my phone is hooked up with my MacBook, which is hooked up to my iPad. I can type one thing in here, and it goes to everything. So I'm good to go. Whatever device I have on me, which is another great organizing thing too. If everything all hooked up, synced up, whatever device I grab. Everything is on there. Fun thing to know about the Notes app too, James, is no. with uh, the update they put out like six months to a year ago, you can now actually bring in like little check mark boxes yes. and little like dots that you can just cross it's off. True. So right. you know that you don't even have to like delete things as you go. You can just have it safe in your mind that you know you bought gifts for everybody. It's very true. He's, he's, it's Stephen it's Stephen Amu, my partner in Christmas. It's very true. That is very true. It's a great app. I use that one. As it, as many as other apps too out there, but I don't want to, I mean, I'm just saying for basic, for people who are just like, can you give me a basic app that's easy to, to work with? Because I use Evernote also, which is another one I like too, but that's another different one. But this one's really simple. It really is. And it's easy to use. And when you're on the go and you're trying and you think of an idea, I do, I do it with my songs, poems, pieces of ideas. I just do it in a note, notes app. Very, very good thing. Uh, and number four, which I talk about all the time and all of these shows a lot of times, everything in its right place. You want to make sure everything is accounted for. So, because during the holiday season, you don't want to really rebuy things that you already have. That just that just wastes money. But if you're not organized, you don't see what you have. So it's kind of like, well, then I can't find those scissors because this happens every single time. I can't find the scissors. You go to the store, buy a pair of scissors. You come home. What do you see? Those scissors. You couldn't find them I mean, all day long. You couldn't find them. But as soon as you buy scissors. You come home, the scissors are there. Like they, like they decide to walk out and go, hi, I'm here. <laughs> you missed me. Um, so you want to make sure you go through and ahead of time. And again, just kind of grouping things together. Um, but if you don't want to do it all year long, then start around, I say start around October, November. Start grabbing the pots and pans you might use during the holiday season. Um, start grabbing the, or the, the decorations. Again, using the notes app from the third thing I was talking about. Start writing down what you need. When you start, once you start gathering everything, you see what you have for the holiday season, then you can actually go and say, oh, I need more wrapping paper, or I need more wax paper, or I need another stocking. You can actually see what you have. That's the most important part of seeing what you have. Um, those bins that I've talked about in previous episodes, the bins, you, you pull the bins down, look in there, see what you have. Things do break every year. Things fall apart. You do lose stuff sometimes. Um, that's fine. But I say the beginning of the year, do an inventory. Basically, do inventory. And group it all together and have it there. You, um, you know what I recommend for this too? Tell Because if you do inventory and you notice that, like, look on this picture you guys are seeing right now, if mm -hmm. you're if you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening on iTunes, it's a very organized cabinet full of different spices mm -hmm. and different uh, sprinkles and all the basically things that you'd need to make Christmas cookies, right? So this is the Christmas cookie cabinet, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. And if you're doing inventory at the end of the year and you're putting everything away after you've baked everything and you notice one of those containers has, like, not enough to make another batch, but enough to, you know, just exist. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just label that as you need to buy it and throw it out. Yes. Just because I there's agree. no point in keeping something for another year, which might go bad by then, just yeah. to clutter up your cabinet. I agree. And I was going to say that also, that sometimes things break in transition. When you're when you're putting it in storage, you open up the box or the bin and something's broken. But that's a great – I love that idea. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, when you're putting stuff away, that's the best time to inventory what you have. Uh, I know you're tired. It was a holiday season. You're tired, but it's the best thing you can do um, to kind of know what to get next. And you can even, you can even, if you do even do a list in person, some people do people do it in person on paper, put the list in the bin. So if you write it down on paper, put the list on the top of the bin in your Christmas bin. So you know, when you open that bin, oh, my list, these are things that I need. And it's right there. So that's, that's, that's my, I like, I like that idea. And the last benefit to being organized is enjoying the holidays. Just enjoying the holidays. That's me. I'm happy. I'm enjoying the holidays. <laughs> I mean, literally, when you have less stress, you can have more fun. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if I even speak any more on that. Just that. That's just what you have to do. Organization really does help you. Putting systems in place really does help you. And the holiday season doesn't need to be this stressed out, uh, this stressed out crazy time period. It should be fun. Where it's a time for us to get together. That's what I'm going to leave you on with this, is that it's a time to be together. The, the biggest, most important thing in my eyes is the time you spend together with loved ones or people that you like. That's the most important thing. The food, the trappings, all the other stuff that go along with it, those are just icing on the cake. 
But finding time to actually spend time together and enjoy each other's company. Many of us are busy or live cross country or don't get a chance to get together a lot. This is what that's what this is what this holiday season is about. It's about getting together and just like enjoying each other and appreciating each other. That's what's most important. I'm James Hutt Jr., Super Organizer. Um, you can follow me at the superorganizeruniverse.com. You can follow me at Super Organizer on social media platforms, James Lodge Jr. social media platforms. We are on the Christmas 24-7 channel on YouTube, on Instagram, we're there too. It's all about Christmas, 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 Christmas. And I want you to be organized. Just be organized. Let's do it. If you need help in the, in the LA area, you can contact me. I am for hire. I'm James Hunt Jr. We'll see you next time. Have a great holiday season. From Chief Health Officers Kevin Undergaro and Maria Menounos, Chief Spirit Officer Jeff Graham, and the entire The Christmas 24-7 channel, we would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV's The Christmas 24-7 channel. If you have questions or comments, email us at thechristmas247 at gmail.com. Until next time, do your best to give, forgive, and be merry. Ho, 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 ho.